Princeling ain't easy. Son of Dictator gives up $30 million. You can have my $30 million, but you'll never get my MJ memorabilia. That's what you could say if you were Teodoro Nguema Obiang Mangue, Vice President of Equatorial Guinea and son of the country's ruthless dictator, Teodoro Nguema Obiang Basogo. The princeling, who's something like a globetrotting Kim Jong-il to be, is being forced by the U.S. Department of Justice to give up this big fancy mansion, a $530,000 Ferrari, and 10.3 million bucks in funny money, all accumulated by money laundering and taking <coughs> kickbacks. The cash will be used to help the impoverished people of oil-rich Equatorial Guinea, since neither the president nor vice president seem inclined to do that. However, it's not like the U.S. is going to cut off relations with a major oil supplier just because they have the worst score possible for human rights. Ha! Huh, are you nuts? So, Teodoro Nguema Obiang Mangoe gets to keep his Gulfstream jet, his thriller jacket, and his most prized possession. Michael Jackson's gem-encrusted white glove from the Bad Tour, for which he paid $482,000 in the late 80s. There. Now don't dictator again, but keep that oil coming. Thanks a million. <laughs>